Jim Steele. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. DJ came over to watch the baby, and she hit him in the eye with a rattle. He cried, she cried, and then I cried because I don't have better childcare. Becky, this is Dawn from Cook County Meat and Fish. She thinks I'm hilarious. Such a pleasure, Becky. I have to tell you, I think comfort food in this location is going to be a big winner. The only thing you're missing is a signature big ticket item. Steak. You need to offer a good steak. We can't afford a good steak. And I'm not just talking about the customers, I'm talking about the people that own the restaurant. Becky, <laughs> Dawn has a fantastic background. She was a buyer for a big restaurant chain. I started this company after the managing partner at the old place groped me in the stock room. Can you believe that? Happened Same to me thing. in the, the stock, stock room. room. <laughs> yep, and look at us now. Well, I'm looking at you in those boots, and I got to tell you, I love those. Oh, well, they'd look good on your cute little figure. Oh, no, I could never pull off boots like that. Oh, you wouldn't have to. Your boyfriend would be pulling them off, and he wouldn't stop there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better quit it right now. <laughs> I mean, I... I don't even have a boyfriend. Oh, neither do I. But so what? Here's to being our own soulmates. Amen. Amen. Yes, we love ourselves and men don't want us. Can we get back to the food? <laughs> Let's talk prices. OK. Well, this has been fun. I will make a list of what I think you need, and I will send you an itemized estimate. Au revoir. That's French for goodbye. I know. Everybody knows. And before you fall in love with her, we should discuss whether we can afford her. I love her. I'm not in love with her. <laughs> oh, my God, what happened? Uh, he tweaked his back nail in the floorboard. I'm fine. I just got to soak it and then lay down. No, you need to see a doctor. I'm going to take you to urgent care. It's just a twinge. I'm fine. Ow! I feel good. <laughs> I knew that I would. Whoa! I feel nice. A sugar and spice. recorded in front of a live studio audience. Can I help you with something? If I need help, I'll ask for it. See? <laughs> Easy peasy. Huh. Harris got a letter from Central Illinois State. The college or the penitentiary? <laughs> Congratulations, you're a mud turtle. Oh my God, she got in. That's great. Finally, someone from this family made it to college. Hey, I went to college. You went to art school. <laughs> That's basically color me mine with a library. <laughs> How much is this college gonna cost you? I don't know, but now that I'm a divorced, unemployed, single mom, we might actually have a shot at some financial aid. My plan to destroy my life is working. I told you to stick with it. You know what? Harris asked me to bring some clothes over to Odessa, so I'm going to take them over there right now and show this to her. Well, she's finally going to let you know the dope done. Well, at least now I got a shot of getting her out of there and into a dorm room. No drugs there. <laughs> Hello, Odessa. Harris is expecting me. Before the other side, you see, answer me these questions three. <laughs> Uh, somebody just smoked a bowl watching Monty Python's Holy Grail. Correct, you may pass. Not what you expected, huh? We do the human sacrifices in my bedroom. Hey, Mom. Guess what? You are a mud turtle. I haven't put on makeup yet. Give me a break. No, you 
got into college, Central Illinois State. We've got a tour on Friday. Yeah, I'm not going to that. What? Why not? I start working at Price Warehouse next Monday. They've got a program for employees to get a business degree online. Well, I, I don't want you to go to school online. It's a great deal, Mom. It's only 350 bucks a year. Yeah, but I want you to live in a dorm and gain 15 pounds and get mono. <laughs> That's for rich kids. We don't have the money for college. Yeah, no, we already have an appointment with the financial aid office. They want to help us. A and see, they look forward to meeting you. Nobody ever looks forward to meeting you. <laughs> they write that to everyone. No, they don't. This is written directly to you, Mr. Harris Coner. <laughs> and why do you want a business degree anyway? You should study writing. You remember when the Sun-Times printed your I Hate Lanford article and everybody was so angry? That's mm. the happiest I've ever seen you. Yeah. The mayor called me an embarrassment to the community. Of course, that made me feel good. Okay. I'll go on the tour. For you. Mud turtles! A mud turtle is the worst mascot ever. What's the cheer? Go fight! Do something! we got a bill from your gal pal Don, which is weird because I don't remember hiring her. She made a good case for her company at lunch, so I went for it. So now decisions are being made without me over lunch. Well, we were hungry after our Pinot and painting class. <laughs> I'm learning so much about myself. I always knew I could drink, but I didn't know I could paint. <laughs> this is twice what we agreed we could afford. Look at what she's charging us for vegetables. They're all locally sourced. I don't care if they're locally sourced. I care if they're locally eaten. <laughs> and she went ahead and put the steak on here. Dawn showed me that with an upgraded menu, we could pull people as far away as Chicago. Well, you're right. You can't get a good steak in Chicago. <laughs> you got to drive an hour to a roadside diner in a dying town that bought their steak from Chicago. Oh, I'm sorry that you don't trust Dawn, but I do. Jackie, okay, um, I might be wrong, but Dawn is a saleswoman. Isn't it possible that she's pretending to be your friend to ratchet up the bill? I'm afraid she might be taking advantage of you. Au contraire. I'm taking advantage of her by being her friend and picking her brain. Au contraire. Now you're talking like her. You never said au contraire in your life. Au contraire. I said it just a second ago. Dawn likes me. She invited me to the Rockford Wine Festival. Well, okay. If she's really your friend, maybe you should cut the order in half and see if she still wants to go to the wine festival with you. Oh, she'll still want me to go? It's a fait accompli. <laughs> okay, your counsel will be right in. See you around campus, Harris. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Why would I date him when there's professors here? Hi, I'm Helen. I'm here to help with your financial aid. Hi. So, Harris, what did you think of the campus? It was cool. I like that the student paper investigates real stuff. And it's far away enough from my house that my mom can't visit on a whim. <laughs> well, Harris, we thought your admissions packet was really special. Your I Hate Lanford essay was spot on. My ex is from there. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, along with showing you that Harris is special, our application should have also shown you that we're super poor, like Dust Bowl poor. <laughs> That's why we put together a comprehensive aid package to make this happen. Sweet. Okay, loan, loan, loan. Um, <laughs> where are all the grants and scholarships? You know, the free money. <laughs> well, I'm sure you folks expected that you'd be contributing something. Uh, yeah, something, but you have us paying everything and with interest. I mean, we can't afford this. According to this chart, it'll take me 20 years to pay back these loans. 20 years goes by faster than you think. <laughs> you can waste that on a man everybody said was wrong for you, but you knew better. <laughs> I'm confused. I mean, the letter you sent us promised to help us. I want to. Um, does Harris have a unique skill that might qualify her for a scholarship? A female tuba player is a college admissions home run. <laughs> Do you play the tuba? Yes. No. This is a waste of time. I shouldn't have come here. <laughs>